friends, welcome back to Creepy Places Global. And as you can tell by the flag behind me, we are off to Ireland. Um, this location is called Monkstown Castle, which is located in the suburbs of Dublin in a place conveniently called Monkstown, um, hence the name Monkstown Castle. But I also want to use this opportunity to talk about this book, The Devil's Toy Box by my friend Joni Mahan. Um, she also wrote this book called Bones in the Basement. Um, personally, in my opinion, I like this book um, better, mainly because while Bones in the Basement was more like a paranormal story, well, okay, this is paranormal, but this is more of a personal story, and I found that more um, interesting for me personally, though I highly suggest both books. So, pick it up on Amazon. That's where I got mine. Monkstown Castle is an old castle ruin located on the corner of Castle Park and Mountown Road Upper in the suburbs of Dublin, Ireland. The castle was built between the 13th and 14th century by Cistercian monks, a religious order that emphasizes a life of manual labor and self-sufficiency, mainly done through agriculture and brewing ale. These monks were part of St. Mary's Abbey, which was one of Ireland's wealthiest Cistercian abbeys that was founded in 1139. During the medieval times, the castle was the center of a large farm and consisted of three strong towers and thick walls that surrounded a large house within. It served as a stronghold against frequent attacks from the O'Tools, a leading family from Leinster, and their close kinsmen, the O'Burns of Wicklow. St. Mary's Abbey was dissolved in 1539 during the dissolution of the monasteries and was granted to John Travers by King Henry VIII. He came to Ireland from Cornwall and was Master of the Ordnance, a high-ranking military position. He also was the groom of the chamber to the king, a position in the royal household. The castle served as his residence and county seat of Ireland, and his knowledge of the Celtic language and generous nature earned him a fortune. From him, the castle went into ownership to his son, Henry. Then it went to Henry's daughter, Mary. She married James Eustace, third Viscount of Baltinglass, who was born in 1530. He was involved in the Second Desmond Rebellion, which was an uprising that lasted from 1579 to 1583 in the Irish province of Munster, but it spread to Leinster in July of 1580. He joins forces with Fiac McHugh O'Byrne, the Lord of Ranelagh, and the castle became a stronghold for the rebellion. However, he was defeated and sent into exile, and the family lost the property. He dies on November 25, 1585, and his wife remarries in 1587 to a Catholic loyalist named Sir Gerald Aylmer, and with his help, they petition for the return of the castle and land in 1589. When she died on November 28, 1610, her estate was shared with several others, but Monkstown Castle was given to Henry Cheevers, the second son of her sister, Catherine. During the Cromwellian period, in which England was governed as a republic, the castle was removed from the ownership of Henry's son Walter and granted to General Edmund Ludlow, an English parliamentarian who lived from 1617 and died November 26, 1692. He was Oliver Cromwell's Lieutenant General of the Horse in Ireland and was involved in the execution of King Charles I in 1649. In 1660, when the monarchy was restored, Ludlow was exiled to Switzerland and the castle was returned to Walter Cheevers. Shortly before he died on December 20th, 1687, Walter sells the castle to Michael Boyle, the Archbishop of Armagh. He was the ecclesiastic head of the Church of Ireland who lived from 1609 and died December 10th, 1702. Today, only parts of the walls and two towers remain of the castle and is part of a historical park that can be visited for free. As for the paranormal, the location is not known to be haunted. Now, here is Monkstown Castle. Well, it's finally sunny in Ireland. It is not raining. And we are in 
Glasgow. Glasgow. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm not even going to try to pronounce <laughs> it. <laughs> I, he, he, my friend keeps trying to help me, and I just butcher the butcher the name of this town. But we're heading off to Monks Monkstown Castle for the second time because, well, um, Ireland. It likes to rain in Ireland, but I'm just going to get a nice panoramic shot of the water, the Irish Sea. It's like a moment of zen. But anyway, I won't keep them too long. Well, we're in Don Leary. And I said it correctly, I'm finally learning. And we're just walking along to Monk Town Castle. And there's, um, these are, uh, what kind of houses do you call these again? Jo Georgian? Georgian. Georgian. Georgian houses. They generally go back to like the 1700s. And they drive on the opposite side of the road, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is the ruins of Monktown Castle. We finally made it, and it's sunny out. We came here yesterday. We couldn't do nothing because it just wouldn't stop raining. So we're going to explore it. It's not that big. And maybe do a little ghost hunting stuff as much as we can. There it is next to a road. So thank you, Alex, for bringing me for a second time. That's okay. There's the castle. There's the main entrance. I'm gonna go take a closer look at the sign over there. Over here, to the left. I keep not saying the S, I keep saying Monk Town. It's actually Monk's Town. Hey Alex, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Beer cans are still here. Oh, of course. You know, if we get into the right spot, we should be able to do something. It won't be too, too bad. Okay. So we're going to try to do some ghostly stuff here. My friend's very interested in seeing how I do it. I think. Or you could, you could, you could be just be telling me that, right? Yeah, yeah, I could. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's nice, yeah. cool. It's pretty cool to go through. It's like yeah. you're kind of walking through an old castle. I'm gonna go get a closer look at this tower. Okay. <clears throat> well, at least I can have you peek through. Actually, I got an idea. I'm gonna close the shutter. Ain't I'm clever? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I better not drop the camera, because then I'll never All get right, it. Because there's obviously a hole in the roof, so you could actually get light <laughs> in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. I cheated. Oh, right. Well, there's a fireplace. The ingle nook fireplace. But there's only half of it, so it must be bigger to what time. It's just kind of interesting, you know, a, little, a town, monk's town, yeah. and you got a castle. And it, I think it was a lot bigger at one time, but it's uh, pretty well preserved. Oh, it has to be. Yeah. 
Who would live in a castle like this? Okay. Oh, much better. Maybe. Because Abbey's always had their little area for burying her. So we'll have to see if we can find any. Well, we're going to go walk around the walls and then come back in through the entrance. Yeah. Sandals. See, he's got sandals. I got. Yeah, my Jesus creepers. <laughs> what? Jesus creepers. Jesus creepers. Okay. <laughs> I I've never heard that saying before. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> oh, it's 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 a fairly common thing because most monks or uh, if you see them around, they're wearing these sandals. <laughs> Jesus creepers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like you used to have the brothel creepers in the 60s, the shoes were the really big so. Yeah. I am so annoyed. It's okay. You wore your Jesus creepers and you walked home. That's going to be the saying of the stay. Saying of the. Uh, Oh, the saying of the day, I'm just going to keep doing Jesus Creeper shoot. <laughs> That's cool. I wonder if it's for sale. I don't know. I... Because you could actually do it up. Yeah, well, one of the, one of the towers you could. Yeah. Living, I keep the rest as it is. I charge people. And there's the uh, roundabout. <laughs> so if anybody wants to come and find this place, look for the roundabout. I just get the number seven bus from Dunleary. Yes, get the number seven bus from Dunleary instead of walking here. It's nice really being in a place where you can really, even if it's a small little place, but you can really sense the ancient history of it, you know? Yeah. Puddle? Oh, is that an ancient Dorito bag? What's that? <laughs> Doritos. And, and not only that, we have the ancient um, beer cans. Yeah. And <laughs> Made from all natural things. piece of metal. Yeah, it is. It's a piece of metal sticking out right through the window over here. Well, it could have been a bar or something. Yeah, it could have been. Well, maybe it was a bar at one time. Yeah. Uh, should I be doing this? Well, it, it looks safe. It, it looks safe as yeah. hell, you know. I'm just trying to get a better view. <laughs> I, and judging from what I've seen so far, it's been for a lot worse than me stepping on it and trying to get a better filming of it, you know? Once again, got the DVR running. So, and I got questions in <clears throat> Irish that I'm going to desperately try to pronounce correctly. And see what we can find. So Do I'm just. You want me to hold it facing you while you read through your questions. Um. Well, you can finish your cigarette. I can do. I can. Okay. Finish. Okay. <laughs> if you want. By the way, everybody in Ireland smokes. I know. <laughs> Except for you. I'm not from Ireland. So we're. That's gonna... okay. Yeah, I've got you facially. So we're gonna try this. 
going. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Gaia do it on Bifu et on Beatali Leilin. I usually allow 10 seconds in between questions. Okay. Before I fios I got Cobb Billion. On Rabbi to Bas O Bahas Dub. On Rabbi A Fos Ak John Traverse That's all I have for once in Irish. I'll think about okay. that now. I'm gonna go over here. I'm not gonna do any more in Irish. It's just, I don't even, I couldn't even, don't even know if I'm saying them properly. Go in the corner over here. All right. Are there any, is there anybody here with me? Are you a monk? Are you a monk of St. Mary's Abbey? lot of traffic so it's gonna be a little hard to do anything but um, I'm trying are you unhappy of how the castle now looks are you Irish or are you English Are you happy on how the Catholic Church is today? Kids. Let me ask that again. Are you happy on how the Catholic Church is today? How old is this castle? Okay, we're gonna do the K2 meter. Um, I didn't really ask, I didn't really write down how an Irish can, uh, you know, can you touch the gray object. <laughs> so I'll have to do it all in English. It is on, it's a little hard to see. So I'll flip it, see? So keep it right that. I'll just hold it right here by this door. I'll ask a few questions in English. Good day, mates. No, um. Uh. Hello, any spirits of this castle? Are there any of you here? If so, this object I'm holding uh, you can go and touch it and it'll make the lights go off. Kind of like that, see? Now I'm turning it on and off. 
if you are here, could you please touch this gray object and set the lights off to the red color? We would really like to communicate with you if there's any spirits here, or monks. Well, me and my here comes the sunshine. Here comes the sunshine. The only day that I'm going to be in Ireland that's going to have sun. <laughs> well, we're now heading back. Um, I highly doubt this place is haunted, but who knows? It's just kind of cool to do it. It's a little hard because of all the traffic, but at least there was nobody in here this time. And uh, I'll go over the stuff. Yeah, and if people want to come here, it's the number 8 bus from O'Connell Street or from Dunleary. I just wanted him to say that because I just really love his Irish accent. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So thank you, my friend, for bringing me here. That's okay. Technically three times now. Yeah. <laughs> But also, the thing is, you know, once again, on the, on the sort of travel website, it gives people how to get here as well. They get on a great bus, and yeah. it drops them right outside the door. Right outside the castle uh, doors. Yeah, the oh, yeah, right there. See? Take the bus to there. Walk a few feet. Oh, voila!